This is the first video for the parametric design uh, video series and what we are going to do each Saturday is to talk about uh, one of the projects which is related to parametric design or parametric architecture uh, or parametric modeling. So we are going to uh, cover three subjects, parametric architecture, parametric design and parametric modeling and talk about it in our videos. So the first video we are going to talk is the Arbo skin and at the end I'm also going to give you a small example file uh, which you can also see how those uh, panels work. So let's just get to the project. Uh, the Arbo skin project is, uh, as you can see in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how the project is made, about what is bioplastics and the process of making those panels and at the end you can see that the project is also uh, has been used to see the structural optimization of the panels. So first I want to talk about the design strategies and uh, you can also download these images from our website and also the links to these websites are going to be in the website. So uh, first of all the design strategies you can see that starting from a circle then it's going to give the perpendicular circles along the initial curve and then lofting the surface, which you can also work on that, and then triangular panels on the surface too. And the next image, can you see that? That those uh, triangles are going to be simply extruded to a point and then cut by a plane, uh, which you can also see in this grasshopper example, which we are cutting this uh, triangle uh, which is extruded to a point, which is a primit, and then we can change the parameters to produce different results. So uh, you can see that these are the design strategies for this uh, project. Okay, the project is in University of Stuttgart and ITKE. So what I want to do is to explain a little bit about this project, and it's called the Arbo Skin, a durable and recyclable bioplastic facade, and uh, you can see that the bioplastic facade mock-up was created within the framework. So we are going to talk about the framework a little bit, about bioplastic, what is bioplastic. And it's uh, uh, focusing on the possible architectural and constructional applications of bioplastic materials. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about the bioplastic uh, granulate, which is start, the starting of the project. The first step is to explain about bioplastic. Uh, bioplastics are already part of our everyday life. You can see that we are using bioplastics in uh, many things, office equipment, disposable catering and catering and tableware, electronics, shopping bags, and so on. So uh, the most important thing about the bioplastic is it's a life cycle, which is recyclable. You can see that uh, our renewable raw materials uh, which I will explain about it, will go to ICPB, bioplastic resin, and then producing and products. So uh, if you want to know exactly how bioplastic is made, I'm going to put also the link in the website, uh, WikiHow, using cornstarch and vinegar. You can see how you can make a bioplastic step by step. So the next step of making those panels is extruding those bioplastic. And how is it's done. So in this uh, small animation, you can see that those bioplastic granules are going into the screw. And uh, after going to the screw, it, the heater bands as it, as it ends, just extrude that into a mold. And the mold puts that into a shape and then compression and produce the sheets. So at the end, those sheets are made. So this, these are the sheets of bioplastic. And the first thing we want to uh, explain about is the thermal forming of those bioplastic sheets. So uh, first I'm going to explain what is thermal forming. You can see that the sheet is, by using the thermal forming technique, is put into the uh, pyramid thing. So the next step is to show you how the, the thing works. You can see that this is a heater, this is the uh, sheet, and then uh, it goes down to a mold. So this is the way you can make that and then we have those panels which we cut out and then uh, after that you can also have those panels ready for CNC uh, milling. Okay so the next step is we you can also recycle the waste 
of the bioplastic and uh, recycling of milling draw, uh, drawdowns, pelletizing, you can see that you can recycle that. So this is the most important thing about bioplastic. The next step is the CNC cutting uh, one mold diverse shapes. You can see that this is basically uh, the sheet, which is uh, one shape, and you can see that one mold. So then uh, the CNC just cuts that. You can see that it's cutting the bioplastic, and then you can take that off and have the panels. So those panels are getting ready. I'm going to show you a small video of the mock-up of that project, the video. And you can see how the project is installed and the waterproof thing. And this is the Arbo Skin project being made. So this was the Arbo Skin project. And now you can see that uh, it also, uh, the project is also uh, has been analyzed by uh, FEM analysis, finite element modeling. And at the end, we have those panels. You can see that those panels uh, are installed on the mock-up and on the structure. And as we go further, uh, we have those panels. You can see that those panels have been cut and uh, put on the structure. And this is the project at the night. And that's it. So for the grasshopper parts, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how that pyramid has been made. You can download this example file from our website also. I'll put the link on the uh, in the description. So you can see that simply this is a simple, let's just show this and put the bifocals plug in so you can understand this. You can see that this is a triangle extruded to the point which makes the pyramid. And then we can also make an XY plane and rotate that in by the axis of the X and Y. So I have put two rotation here. You can see that I can rotate this in the X axis and in the Y axis, okay? And then I have also put a move there so you can move that plane up. And now you can see that I have put this in the Z direction. That is exactly from zero to one. And that is because it's a multiplication of the height of the pyramid. And then we can make a plane surface from that. And uh, after that, you can see that we can just uh, make this plane cut the pyramid. So you can use the split B-Rep tool and have two of those B-Reps. And at the end, we are just picking the uh, uh, last part. So let's just turn everything off. And now you can see, let's just turn this off also. And now you can see by changing these X and Y and Zs, you can cut this. Uh, but this is uh, just a s example, simple example for that. Okay, this is just an example, and you can use this technique for maybe uh, having the panels on a, s a smooth surface. We have talked about this in many tutorials. So this was the uh, parametric design first uh, project, which was Arbo Skin. And thank you for watching. Please give us your feedback because we are going to record uh, different projects in the parametric design and parametric architecture field and we want to know how do you feel about this series and what's your opinion about this and thank you for watching